everyone this is Jackie Hayes I'm a stamp independent stamping up demonstrator from Perth Western Australia and today my challenge for my ladies was to do a plain simple card and this is the one that I have done I chose this one because it's got from beautiful world and I try to do um, cards two or three different ways. If I get a stamp set, I like to do a card two or three different ways just to show that it's not just for one card only. I did that one inside and it says, thank you for being part of my life. The front bit is, it's a beautiful journey. And um, I've used um, Mary Merlot and soft suede with uh, whisper white now i'm expecting the lady some of my ladies that send me cards through the email to do a plane because when i sent my emails out yesterday i actually spelt plane wrong i didn't realize i'd done it i'm, I'm not a bad speller but i put plane as in airplane and Oh, it was pointed out to me um, by one of my ladies that um, had spelt it wrong. I hadn't noticed, but hopefully everybody knows what they what I mean. Usually they do. Right, I'll get started. And the card I'm using is Crumbs Cake. And that is an A5 scored at ten and a half. And Merry Merlot... Uh, scored, uh, sorry, cut at um, 10 by 14 and a half. A wisp for white to go inside, which is 10 by 14 and a half. And the outside white is um, 9 and a half by 10. So I'll use these two first. But what I'm going to do is... I'm going to use the Stamparatus. To me, this is one of the best things that Stamping Up has ever brought out because you can do so many things with it. This is just one plate and I've got the words, it, let, um, life's a beautiful journey on this side. Turn it over and I've got thank you for being part of mine. On this one then, I've actually got three, two of these I've got three, three Stamparatuses because I do classes. And this one, I've got the little ink well. And on this one, I've got the feather. So we'll start with the feather first. And I'm going to put this right up at the very top and matched up at the very side so you need I always use my uh, stamp pad for what I'm doing with this because if you don't if you just bend it back these could get broken off and I, I think they're too expensive for doing that so this is what I always do and we'll do the uh, crumb cake first and just mark it up. I think that's about it. And pass it over and press it down. And that looks perfect. Now what I want, I don't want the next one, I don't want to have to clean the next, this um, stamp off. So I'm going to just move it over. Instead of one position, I'm going to move it over so that's one two sorry that's my phone on vibrate it's uh, I'll just get rid of that it's marvelous it never rings until I'm on on YouTube and then it starts so there you can see this is This is the two feathers to start with how I want it. Now, 
I will then clean this off and I've got my chamois here that I'm going to clean it off with because I'm going to change the colour now. And I'm going to move it back one notch and I'm going to use Merry Merlot. If it hadn't stamped very well, which it has, I could reposition that. I could just bring re-ink it rather and just fetch it over and that would be in the perfect spot for doing that. Now what I'm going to do as well, I'm going to take this over because I've got this colour inside and they're the, I, you get two magnets with this and I usually usually use one you can't let the magnets go together because they are so strong it would break them so that's that bit and clean that off and take that sheet out and I've got this one now and this is going to be for the Merry Merlot as well and this is the ink uh, the ink well the ink part just tap that and I've set it up so that it will line up with that feather the quill so there you see that is oops, not coming out that is already done now and it's lined up perfect um, Stamper Artist is brilliant for that and these are all in a row so there's not a problem with that. I will just move this one down one notch and you lift it straight up, you don't bend it backwards to lift it out and that's that done. I'm going to put that one back now and I'm going to clean it off again and the chamois is brilliant because when I go to do anything now with that even though I've just wiped it off you don't have to dry it because it's already dry I've got a bit of ink on that one so perfect and then I'm going to lift it up and pass it down again to the third notch which is for this one then and looks all right that is spot on so there you see this is the three feathers uh, quills that I've done I'm going to just leave that in at the moment I'll clean that before I've done it, sit and move that on one side. And this is the um, next one I'm going to do is the um, part for the Life's a Beautiful Journey. And I haven't lined it up right in the corner. I've moved it over just a fraction and I've lined it up with the th one, two, three, fourth line there so that I know it's going to be straight and so is the words and this needs to go that way now for inking up and Mary Merlot This is a new ink pad and they're very, very juicy. I have to be careful when I'm using this one. I'll just get that out of the way. Perfect. Now that, that side is, 
is nearly finished. I won't put this on yet. I'm going to just do all this. Oh, it's not quite. I've got, oops, I've got this squirrely bit that I'm going to just choose um, underneath the, the ink pads. And I've done that in crumb cake. And that's the only block I'm using at the moment. Um, did I do any of that inside? I don't, don't remember. Yes, I did that on the inside. So I don't need to clean that off yet. But um, I will clean that bit off. And I'm going to turn this round. And... And this piece is going to have the words on here. And I've lined this up in the corner there. Just let it fall down a minute. And I've done this one in the crumb cake. Stamp that on there. that is perfect as well and then I'm going to move this out of the way now because I've actually finished with that but I will take this off because it doesn't want to be broken um, right. and now I've just got to put the little scroll on the bottom of this to finish that piece off and we'll wipe that off and these are cling stamps so that if you put them on a block there's no no reason why they would come off you've got to just it's it's very sticky underneath so that won't so that's sticky it won't come off of your block I'll just leave that there until I've um, sorted this out. Now I can just fasten all these ink pads up so that I don't uh, get them. Oh, I hate these new ones. Sorry, but I don't like them. You get ink everywhere. Some people might like them, but I don't. Right, the next bit I'm going to do is I'm going to use the punch. And this is detailed trio punch. And um, I'm going to only, on this one, which is the inside, I'm only going to do a rounding. And it's got three, it's got a flower, a hole, and a, a rounder so that you can round the edges of your card which I'm going to do with this one and you press down in the middle it really is so simple to use this one you don't need a lot of pressure and then with this one just move that out of the way I'm going to do all the corners now if I wanted to do um, the flower bit it would show me the Merry Merlot underneath. But I don't want to do the flowers, I just want to do the corners rounding, rounding off. But I can show you what it will look like if we do the flowers. So I've got a piece of scrap paper there. So scrap there and so 
there you can see what the flowers look like um, and that would look nice in that corner as well but I just wanted it sort of plain so I've moved them out of the way and just pop them out now this piece I want to just um, put this on here I'm not going to raise e any of these up this time normally I, I like to put a bit of dimension on it but but I'm not going to do that today just move that over a fraction I'm bringing my crumb cake. And I haven't rounded off these corners on my crumb cake card because I didn't want to. I thought it would look alright without it, which it does. This one on the inside. lined up perfect got a bit of glue on me so there that's my quick simple plain card you don't need to do a lot the words say it all and if you've got something um, somebody special you want to send it to or even if they're just a friend life's a be beautiful journey thank you for being my, part of mine because friends are part of your journey in life whether it doesn't matter what sort of a turn you take you get friends along the way um, I know that only too well because I've got friends in the UK but I've also got a lot of friends good friends in Australia and um, my my life took a, a drastic turn when my children decided to come to Australia and left me and my husband at home on our own in England so yeah but um right we'll go off of that tangent for the next bit if anybody wants to um order a copy of um the stamping up catalogue this one came out on the 3rd of June and it runs till the 3rd of May next year which is a long time for you to browse through but it's got a lot of interesting things these are all words and um, if, if you ever wanted some words that's that's great or if you wanted just to to get some flowers just to copy the cards it, it's amazing it really is because this card here was part of this set with the pineapple it comes as a bundle and um, it, you get the dies with that one and I've done a, a YouTube video on this one so that was really good that one you've got a lot of that one's all right because if you've got pets which um, my family's got cats There's flowers, there's, if you're a bit religious, they've got the prayers, the, the hands. If you wanted um, to do something for somebody that's a, um, a religious person, that that is ideal. There's loads of information in there. And these, to buy one off of me, is five dollars it is a bit heavy to post but um it's one of those things that if you wanted one i probably could get you one through the post 
if you wanted to do an order um, you could send me an order through jackiesan50 at gmail.com or go on to my blog and order for yourself which is http stand, uh, two dots two forward slashes jackiesancards.stampinup.net or you can phone me on 0422 547 461 and I'll be only too happy to put place your orders for you um, if you live uh, interstate or anywhere like that I can have customer orders sent to you so they will be delivered to your address that is not a problem if you would like to join my team which I've got a bunch of ladies that are my team and they are brilliant they keep me well and truly on track and um, it is $169 to, to join you'll then get $235 of products of your choice from out of the catalogues and at the moment until the 30th of june we've got a promotion going on where you can get a uh, a stamp set and a die or a punch as a bundle free so if you wanted this one and it comes with a die that cuts out this and and the globes and the um uh, that is a good way of saving money at the moment because that way then um, you get the two for nothing you you can become a hobby demonstrator that means you don't have to go out and sell you just buy for yourself and when you're fed up with it if you can't afford to keep buying you just let it go you don't buy anymore and then stamping up don't hassle you um, they are brilliant um, they don't mind you being a hobby demonstrator because that's what they are as well they started off being hobbies uh, and mine was just a hobby to start with and then I got friends that wanted classes so I started doing classes but that sort of evolved I've been doing this for nearly 11 years now so and I'm quite happy with it this is what I do it's got a bit intense over this last couple of weeks but <laughs> because I'm learning how to do YouTube which has been a trial for me but just stay safe and hopefully we can get through all this together and we'll be back to normal but bye for now bye